Greetings and salutations. This is Derek with Taylor Whips. Welcome to 2024. I believe that it's high time, now that it's the start of February, that I started work on the projects that I have planned for this year. Uh, I hope that you'll come along with me on some of these adventures. In this video, I'm going to briefly explain a few of the projects that I have lined up for this year. I hope that you're as excited about them as I am. The first big project that I have lined up for this year is on some whip theory. Uh, how whips crack, and specifically my interpretation on the cracking of whips. Um, I hope that it will help to uh, narrow down or help to better explain the number of whip cracks that there are. Uh, for those of you who are interested in whip cracking, I hope it will be a useful tool that will aid you in learning how to use the whip more effectively. The second big project that I have lined up for this year is going to be taking a couple of whips that I have and I'm going to be using them in a combative setting uh, against a static target to see what sort of things one can expect from uh, using a whip as a weapon. Now, my most popular video, uh, this one where I respond to Shadowversity and their take on the whip as a combative weapon, has been uh, one of the most impactful videos I've ever made, both in terms of uh, my channel and in terms of getting people interested in this subject. Um, as such, I want to delve further into that category, uh, both for my own benefit and for the benefit of those who might be interested in this same topic. With the videos that I have uh, plans to do where I use the whip in various combative settings um, and uh, use and abuse them to see what they're actually capable of, I want to do my due diligence in ensuring that I am honest in my approach and also uh, take into consideration the the things that I learn along the way. Uh, there are a few videos on this subject already that sort of miss the mark in what a whip can do, and the people who use the whips in those videos don't have the particular skill set that I have, and so I want to see what I can do against a static target and um, what the whip as a tool is actually capable of. Another of my big projects for this year is going to be taking a whip and uh, abusing it, um, specifically doing a lot of things with the whip that no whip maker recommends, uh, such as swinging from a whip, seeing how much uh, one of my whips can take. Uh, not only swinging from a whip, but systematically severing sections of the whip to see in a combative setting, if worse came to worst, what could you still do with a whip in the uh, worst case scenario. I also have several creative projects that I would like to uh, share with you. One of my favorite things to do is to go out into nature and to crack whips and show what cracking whips feels like in those particular settings. I hope that the creative projects that I do that are for my own enjoyment uh, may uh, be of some value to you as well. Another portion of what I hope to accomplish in 2024 revolves around a, a larger essay that I'm putting together on the history of the whip, where it comes from, how it's been used, how it has been um, implemented in various cultures, how it has shifted and changed throughout time. That particular essay is going to take quite a bit of time and effort to compile, especially where the whip's history is so broad. Uh, it, being as old a tool as it is, has been used in many cultures throughout time, and its history spans thousands of years, many cultures, languages, it uh, is going to require that I look into such sources as literary sources, art sources, extant pieces, uh, perhaps do interviews with people from various walks of life uh, with various levels of experience. It's a world history item, 
I want to give it the proper credit and the proper credence and respect that it deserves. I hope that these adventures will be as fun for you as they are for me and that we may share a little bit together. Uh, if you have some suggestions or some thoughts about what you might like to see, uh, please leave a comment or send me a message. I would love to get your perspective. Uh, I do read the comments. I may not always respond to them, but I do read them. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope to see you again, and I hope that you have an excellent and adventurous 2024. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on my next adventure.